you guys today we're going to look at a card which was spiked again um, every single night it seems like three or four cards spike last night it was city of traders cradle and this card i wanted to focus on sanctum in particular because it's not really a legacy card it's not really a vintage card more more often it's played in edh so these spikes will affect casual players more than they believe and this is probably the prime example of a card mainly played in EDH that used to be $25, $28. That's now $150. $150 is a lot of money. Um, especially since most people's EDH decks don't even cost that much money. At least the casual players I play with. So we have a scenario where a few people can increase, uh, even one person can increase the price of any card on the reserve list, and there's no repercussions to it. There's no, there's actually general support among the MTG finance community for doing this. Essentially, if one person can do it, then another person can do it, and another person can do it. And the logic behind it, and Craig's logic is he has to support his family, and this is one way he supports his family, and that he's actually an awesome good dude. He just um, makes magic cards more expensive on you know for himself to make money to support his family. I can't really fault him on trying to support. I mean, it's a it's crazy because there's so many logical things you can put in and. So many explanations you can say why this is right. This is capitalist. It is unregulated market, and this is what people would do in an unregulated market. But at the end of the day, it makes legacy look bad. It makes EDH look bad. It makes magic players look bad. It makes the game look bad. If you're a new player and you hear about this stuff, and this is all you hear about all the time, then yeah, I wouldn't play the game. I would honestly say no. It's not for me. I'm going to play a game that's more affordable and that the company actually cares about my wallet and just doesn't want on one hand the secondary market is so greedy and on the second on the other hand which the coast is so greedy so what's a casual player to do except quit the game move to hearthstone and i has got gotten to that point for me i can tell you when it got to that point um a long time ago when i was battling the counterfeiters or whatever and I had a discussion with someone on 4chan, and they predicted that the biggest danger isn't counterfeits. That that's actually not a danger. The biggest danger is this. And the counterfeits were somehow a, a solution. I don't know if it's, he said solution. He said something. And at that t point in time, I was very adamantly against counterfeiting uh, cards, and I still am, but I can understand why some people would support it because when a card is when a edh casual card is 125 dollars and when a card in legacy is 1500 dollars i don't know like obviously it's not great um do i have a playset of moats yes i have a place of leds and a few extra ones as well as i don't have any um tabernacles but it's just very very sad um it is the it's mtg finance I, eventually mtg finance will destroy this game this is the start um if you think craig is bad wait until m more and more people jump in and those people are not going to be as open about it because why would you want to be the villain of magic bye guys